Will, but we can't talk Phillies without talking about the issue right now. Yeah. I just want to get your thoughts on the Trey Turner situation. And I do want to say, I love what I'm seeing on TikTok and Twitter so far, and I hope the fans at the stadium actually do it. Tomorrow, if we're there, we'll do it, hopefully. But cheer Trey Turner tonight. I know yeah. it sounds corny, and well, why would we do cheer This dude, it's so evident that it's up here. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not a hitting slump. When you watch some of the plays he's made in the field, and he made two more in the loss on Wednesday against Miami, obviously yeah. the one where he doesn't knock it down and Bell drives in the run to tie it at eight. But he also made a play when they were up 5-3, bases loaded one out. He had a double play ball yeah, and just took the out at first. The dude wasn't even halfway to second base when the, when the ball was in Trey's glove. He's it's when you see it translate to his glove and his and the fielding, yeah. that's all up here. I don't know what fixes it because he's been knocked down the lineup. He's gotten a day off. You're not going to send a three hundred million dollar man down to Triple A for a couple games, right? I don't know what it's going to take to fix it, but I do know that in booze aren't going to help. So cheer him and see if you if anything can help right we'll do anything to help yeah yeah i think it, you know it's it's a tough situation because it's a guy that's making a ton of money and you know we've we've gone through this with so many players right and you know some some of the players deserve the money some of them didn't i think this right. is a case where trey turner his resume he does deserve that money he deserves that paycheck right mm -hmm. it's just that he's not earning it this season um so I, I think the reason that we have to kind of turn the cheek and just cheer for this guy and hope that we can bring him back mentally and show him that we do support him. Because at the end of the day, we want the Phillies to win. Right. And what will help them win? Trey Turner playing Captain better. America it, will help them win. Trey Turner could give you his average season, right? It doesn't even have to be a great or good Trey Turner season. He could just give you his average, and that would be great for the Phillies. So, like, it's not that we need him to do just, like, so much more for this team. We just need him to be a little bit better, man, in all aspects of his just game, calm right? Down, bro. He's just, just got to un to unlock it. And I think once he finds it in that Phillies uniform, we'll be good. It's just a matter of how long is it going to take for us to find this the main thing for me, man, we need to find it before the playoffs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously they're they're sitting in a wild card spot. I believe they're in the number two wild card spot right now. Uh, a half game or a game up on the the, the team below them. Um, he needs to be right by the time we get to the playoffs because we need another bat. We need another guy to drive in runs, to get on base, uh, to steal bases, we need him to be at his top, and and on the defensive side as well, man. We need him to be his, the top player that he is, and that's the reason you go out and you get Trey Turner last off season is to be that final piece to get you over the hump and win the World <laughs> right. Series. So he needs to fulfill that in some sense uh, throughout this season. But uh, to your point, you know, ragging on guys and you know disrespecting guys and you know running your game through help. the dirt. Listen. It's not going to help Storm, anything. It's not going to help Trey Turner. It's not going to help anybody on this Phillies roster. Listen, I, I'm not saying this like he's not built for Philly. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, from what I've seen, facial ex body language, his facial facial expressions coming off the field when he makes a yeah. mistake. That interview, dude, I was pissed at him. And you know I lost I lost money on that game because yeah. of him, right? Yeah. I was pissed. But I watched that interview, man, and the first thing I felt was just bad. He was, like, pacing back and forth, head down, didn't want to make eye contact with the cameras or reporters, but took all the blame. I know we lost because of me. I felt bad. And what I mean by, like, it's not that he's not built for Philly. What I mean is the boos right now in this point of time aren't going to motivate him. Yeah, it's just not. So yeah. if you're looking for Trey Turner to not make another bonehead error in the field, if you're looking for him to not hit into another double play, don't boo his ass tonight. Yeah. Don't do it. Um, and it's I don't crazy. Think they man. Will, but and we'll and, and Scotty, it's just I don't know what fixes it. It be outside yeah, of outside of him just part. calming down and getting getting it uh, mentally straight because John uh, Ruben Amaro Jr. brought this up the other night. Scott, 
it watches at bats. He's never up in a count. Yeah. Never, ever, ever. Oh, two, one, two, every single at bat. And at least one of the first two strikes is him swinging at a pitch out of the zone. Whatever it is, man, he's not seeing the ball right. He's not. It is a tough watch. Runner, even the Marlins game with the errors in the field, whatever. He had two opportunities with two outs and runners in scoring position to come through. Yeah. And he had two awful at bats. Yeah. Oh, man. It's very, it's very weird, man. Uh, you know, you look at Nick Cassianos last season too, right? Like just his at bats and the struggles he went through mentally. I, you know, it, it, it makes you wonder, like, you know, shifting across the country from LA to Philadelphia. Like, is there anything? I did it, but like I said, there, like but... he went from Washington to LA mid season. Played fine. Yeah, he's done this before. So that's the weird part to me, man. And yeah. he, he listen, when you play on that world baseball classic stage and you play with all these guys in the US locker room, I, and he stood out above all of them. Yeah. That's like that's a time where you could have felt pressure or overwhelmed or oh, do I belong here? And you shined on the brightest stage. I need you to shine here, brother. And you said something very important. We need it by playoff time because we need another bat and his glove. And my thing is, man, when he's right, he's not just another bat. He's that difference maker. Yeah. That's why I need him to get this thing straight come end of September, October, because he can be that difference maker in this lineup, not just another guy if he's swinging well, right? So yeah. 